Dubai is a luxurious city with many expats, which brings exceptional cuisine from the local region and around the world. Today I'm going to show you some of the best restaurants and bars to dine at while you visit this beautiful metropolis. If you're looking for a proper American steakhouse, then I recommend coming here to the Hyde. They serve traditional, good old fashioned American food with a slight Dubai influence. Now when you come here, I recommend getting the flat iron steak. It was the most tender, juicy thing I've ever tasted. Almost like a filet mignon, fantastic. They also have for dessert the s'mores, which is in a jar layered with peanut butter, chocolate, ice cream, honeycomb, and then they toast the marshmallow right in front of you at the table, so it adds this presentation element. But the thing that really surprised me the most about the Hyde, because of course I was expecting good quality food here, was their bread. Now, when I was staying at Jumeirah, people kept saying, you have to try their bread, you have to try their bread. They are not kidding, the bread here is incredible. This is their famous bread. It is sourdough, kind of shaped like a bagel, drizzled with duck fat. Oh my god. It lives up to the hype. Savory. The, the bread is savory. Oh my gosh. So good. This place is only open for dinner, so keep that in mind if you want to come. Make sure you make reservations and you will be very satisfied. The chef is from America. He's a great guy. You're going to have a good time here. At El Mahara, you can dine in one of the most unique atmospheres in the world. It's a floor to ceiling length aquarium that has almost 1600 fish, 17 different species. This restaurant is run by Nathan Outlaw who is known for his two Michelin star restaurants. When you're here, of course, order seafood. That's their signature. We're gonna go try some right now. This is our first course. It's hand dive scallops. Now, when you come here, I really recommend doing the chef tasting menu and you can pair that with wines. They have a sommelier here to really enhance the experience. While you wait for your reservation, you can grab a drink right here at their bar, which is beautiful crystal on the bottom but the ceiling has a octopus chandelier, which fits the aquarium vibe down here. It's so important to have local experiences while you're visiting a place, which is why I think you should go to the Arabian Tea House. Here you can have a traditional Arabic style meal and tea, of course. When you come, I recommend doing their breakfast and ordering a whole tea setup. Make sure that you cover yourself because this is outside of the hotel area, so you need to be respectful to locals. It's beautiful, garden-y vibe. You will love it here. Super delicious food. At Gold on 27, you'll find one of the most unique bars in the world, and that is because this bar is covered in 24 karat gold. I decided to come in and check it out for myself. I heard about this, I thought it was a rumor, but you actually have to check in on a 24 karat gold iPad. The way you order here, on the gold iPad, and each cocktail section is divided into three categories. We have Old Dubai, Present Day Dubai, and then Future Dubai. There's so many signature cocktails, all of them tell a story of Old Dubai. Everything around me is gold-plated. The ceiling is gold-plated leafing. The chairs are gold-plated. Everything's gold-plated. I just ordered the send-off soup because I was told that they have one drink with an Aladdin lamp, and this is that one. It's a gin-based cocktail. Mm. As a craft cocktail enthusiast, I have to say this is well done, well balanced. You get a lot of different flavor profiles here. Delish. I noticed that they have a gold plated ladder that swings across the bar to reach the higher drinks, which is so incredible. 
this bar, you feel like you're just in a palace. If you're interested in trying traditional Arabic food, then I recommend coming here to Saba. This food is so tasty, it's so traditional. The chef would come out and check on all of our meals and tell us about how his mom taught him how to make them. Um, it's just such a generous environment. When you come, I recommend eating the meze. It's like a giant platter of different types of dishes and you just kind of like pick at it with bread. It's so good and why not have what this country is really known for, which is their Arabic roots, while you vacation here. It's, it's like just the most authentic way to see the old Dubai. Vermicelli. Vermicelli, okay. Cooking with saffron, mm -hmm. cardamom, Little bit rose water. Oh, nice. Mix it together. Oh, mix it together. Mmm. It's a little sweet. I didn't expect that. They also serve a traditional Emirati breakfast here. This is their shashuka, which looks a little bit different than normal shashuka. Super tasty, uh, traditional Emirati. So you're gonna get that authentic experience. If you're a fan of Greek food, then I recommend coming to Shimmer. They serve truly traditional and authentic Greek food. And I'm telling you, I've been to Greece a few times and this food was as legit as it gets. Fresh, tasty. Also, they offer shisha or hookah right here on the beach. So you can literally walk from the restaurant to the shisha station right back here. And honestly, I don't know a better way to enjoy shisha than Literally in an environment like this. Here at Rockfish, you'll find Mediterranean classics with a subtle hint of Arabic flavor right at the beachfront. If you come here, I recommend ordering freshly served crudo dishes or seafood. Also, definitely make sure you come here during sunset to get those stunning views of the Arabian Sea and the Burj Al Arab Jumeirah lights. It's incredible. I just got the salt crusted sea bass and it's really true that you eat with your eyes first because this comes to the table covered in a salt layer and they crack it open right in front of you and serve it. It's really incredible and adds to the theatrical element of eating here. <laughs> you can get affordable and luxurious Mediterranean cuisine with the most epic views of the Dubai Creek. The restaurant is actually on a dock, so you have views all around, and it's located in the Al Sif area, which is the traditional old Dubai area. There are tons of shops here and restaurants. It's really fun to explore. So grab some food here and then go out and explore the Al Sif area. You can spend an entire day here easily. Oh my gosh, they have a dessert port here overlooking the Dubai Creek and you just go crazy. You can choose whatever desserts you want. This is chocolate. It's a chocolate coral reef. It's so beautiful. This is just a giant vase of chocolate. These ones are actually cardamom marshmallows. What? I don't even know how to explain it except cardamom and marshmallows together, obviously. This is the biggest couch I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at this thing. Give me like 15 minutes. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Sarah Funky, and I will see you next time.